Hey, welcome to you, Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brad. We're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a preview of the graphic novels coming to GPTV in the coming months. This is stuff that you'll be seeing in January to April. Yes, yeah, so we've got some stuff that's going to be coming out to April 2024. I think a couple things maybe in December as well. But let's dive in and you can see what we'll be reviewing. And you know what? If there's something that you really, really want us to review uh, ahead of time, maybe we'll do that. So we got a fire hose of falsehoods. Uh, part of the World Citizen comics that First uh, First Second is doing. Really kind of uh, pumped about this, uh, you know, all about the lies and disinformation uh, that's out there, especially in politics uh, in our just daily life. So I'm, I'm really, really, really excited to read that. Uh, this sounds interesting. We've got Aowulf of Monsters, of Monsters and Middle School. It sounds like Beowulf done for kids. Um, you know, not much more you need to say about that, but I, I just love that concept. It's a, taking a classic and uh, letting more kids uh, be able to dive into it. Uh, history Comics, if you've never checked out the series, it's a great way to learn history, as it says. Uh, and this one is about hip-hop, so I kind of want to see what it highlights and uh, where it goes. So this could be really entertaining and educational. Uh, this one should be interesting. I love the cover on it. Uh, we got Bunt. Um, it's a portrayal of art school from Three Masters of the Craft. I'm Fascinating to read this, just because also says striking out, striking out on financial aid. So I'm really, really intrigued as to what this is. Uh, it's uh, first year of college is not the picture p uh, perfect piece of art she'd envision. One day at Peachtree Institute uh, Arts, Molly discovers that through some horrible twist of fate, her full ride scholarship has vanished. So that sounds intriguing. Agents of Suits. Uh, it is um, spin out of the Spy Alligator series. Um, and the investigators, and um, has been really entertaining. So very spy action with animals geared towards kids. Should be excellent. So we got Bad Kitty makes a movie. It's Bad Kitty. Good lessons. Kids, adults, everything. Bad Kitty is uh, pretty awesome. This one's intriguing just because of the name. We got D and Doggos get the party started. I am fascinated by this. Magnus is a tail waggly, excited to share his favorite role-playing game with his friends. Uh, they've picked their characters, grabbed their dice, and are ready to set off an adventure Magnus has created. It's a little D&D &D with dogs. Uh, Jean Loon Yang and Lian Pham Lunar New Year Love Story. It's Jean Loon Yang. I mean, is there really anything else you need to know? Uh, that says she was destined for heartbreak, then fate handed her love. Again, Yang. Enough said. I, that really should be your selling point right there. Uh, the Girl Who Sang, a Holocaust memoir of hope and survival. It uh, pretty, pretty much sums up things right there. Uh, this one is intriguing. Call Me Iggy. Never let your dead grandfather give you love advice or Spanish lessons. That is a hell of a tag right there. Got me to laugh the first time I read it, and it gets me to smile every time since. Uh, on the back, John Leguizamo called it a fun, refreshing, and timely story about what it means to embrace who we are and where we come from and those who came before us. And then finally, an uncorrected proof uh, version of Shiny Misfits. Uh, Bay Ann wants to shine. She's sure uh, her moment in the spotlight has arrived when she wins the school talent show with a show-stopping uh, tapper team, but then her classmate and crush... Allie Mack causes her to wobble and almost fall. The video of him catching her goes viral, making Allie uh, an overnight sensation for helping her. Bayan is reduced to her disability, and her talent is ignored. Interesting. Uh, so this should be pretty pretty entertaining and um, intriguing to read, geared towards kids. So that's a lot of graphic novels coming up in the months ahead. Tell us what you look forward to, what you want us to maybe cover beforehand. As I said, it's kind of a little slow this month, so you never know what we'll, what we'll see. Some of this is out uh, in, in December, some of this is out. After that, we'll go uh, have a list of all this and roughly when they're coming out uh, below this. So let us know what you're looking forward to because there's some awesome stuff here. As always, if you want more comic news... Reviews, interviews, previews, whatever. Check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.